Hello, my name is Marcel de Jong. I'm with Autodesk and I'm going to be using the Wacom Cintiq to show you how you can quickly lay out a concept for an environment in Sketchbook Pro. Alright, so let's go ahead and um, uh, start by um, accessing this tool here uh, called the ruler. Now we have these two uh, uh, points that we can start picking from and when you pick one and rotate it, it automatically locks and, and pivots around the, the other. And then we can move this in place, we can move this to exactly where we need this to be, so I can just kind of lay down a reference line here. Now with that um, in place, we can go ahead and um, put one point, place one point exactly where we want it as a vantage point, the other point we can kind of drag out and we get more accurate control as we kind of move away from, uh, from the center and maybe lay down some lines that later on I want to use as a um, as a base for um, the sketch that will include some architectural elements. I wanted to uh, quickly lay down some, some lines here that uh, define something of a, uh, a walkway. We're going to go ahead and just kind of lay down a base of a structure of some sort. And I'm really just adding details as I go and, you know, really kind of rough. I'm not really going to be too worried about definition of my geometry. Um, I may want to have, I may want to add some details here, a little bit more towards the back. I like that, and maybe lay down some lines in here, and we can kind of build the, or draw the supports in. All right, so maybe, uh, maybe as a foreground, we have something that looks more like rock formations, or uh, with some foliage as well, right? So we can go in here and just kind of um, find some, some natural lines that we can add to our scene. And I'm kind of working across the entire image at the same time. I'm not really staying in one area too much. Maybe add some geometric and maybe some, some decorative detail. Now the, the pressure sensitivity of my stylus is really a a key component in being able to lay down line weight and kind of build the accents that I want in the areas that I want. So if I go in here and kind of press this harder in, you can see I can kind of place down a lot of these rocks and kind of get the base just where I want it. I want it to kind of sit solid on the ground, maybe kind of build in an area that I want to shade in simply because I'm just going to cross hatch this. This is kind of a rough sketch. Um, yeah, really kind of helping me control where the emphasis lies. And in some cases, I might want to have that line weight completely disappear into white so that uh, you'll just create visual interest that way um, that kind of tells a story about illumination and the direction of illumination within a scene. Same on the darker side here, I might want to give it a little bit of a heavier accent. And I might even want to go in and use something like a, um, an eraser to say, I'm just going to uh, take out some of the, the weight, my lines here. And then maybe jump back into a pencil. Uh, here's just a, you know, just a quick little example of how line weight and how much line weight can vary within a single stroke. Um, so essentially what, what I've been doing here is just kind of lay down, uh, a, it's a rough sketch, 
And so the next step typically in a process like this, or the way I approach it, is to uh, formalize this sketch and tighten it up. Um, so literally go over this a, another time uh, where we're really laying down uh, more absolute lines and forms so that you know, we get a lot closer to what a photorealistic result would end up uh, looking like.